Hey yo, Nabi, welcome to a new reaction video, guys, and today we are finally going to check out something that, based on the comments that I got from you guys, you've already patiently been waiting for. Today we're checking out the newest OST of Unha that was released a bit over a week ago. Do you know that is the name of it? And um, the only excuse I can give you why I'm checking it out only now is time. I want to make sure that I have um, the time and like the right state of mind, the right relaxed state of mind to app, um, to appreciate it as much as it deserves to be appreciated. And that time is right now. Guys, without further ado, let's jump right into Do You Know That by Unha in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Oh, a historical piece. And they're already... Oh, okay, it's from Dharma. I already love uh, the piano. <laughs> oh, what? what a beginning, dude. Oh, shit. Maximum feels in the beginning. <laughs> This is a slow one. This is a really slow one. It was good that I waited. This is one for the soul. <laughs> Una soft voice in this like super slow ballad here. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. This is like, this, this song is an experience. <laughs> And it stays like at least until now the whole time on like a pretty familiar level. It's not a song that's like playing with lots of highlights or stuff like this. It is a mood. <laughs> the entire song. This part, this part. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This is one for the like really emotional night, uh, emotional nights. I can't, I can't speak. Again, stupid. Boah. This beginning, dude. I don't, sorry, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I, like, I want to 
experienced this. <laughs> Sorry, I need to talk a bit. This is still the reaction. <laughs> oh, this is really... I am a huge fan of this. I mean, this is a style... Which I feel like is not for everyone. Because this is really slow. Really slow. And as I said, it's not like playing with a lot of um, highlight parts. Like high notes or something like this. It's not really taking up the pace um, at some point in the song. It's like gently carrying you throughout the entire song. It's never too rough to you, it's always like holding you tight. Not too tight though. <laughs> this scene by the way. <laughs> so unnecessarily dramatic. In combination with those Una shots. Like, this MV is even better because when she's just, like she did just now, staring into the void with those big dreamy eyes, it really adds, honestly. Also, how cute she's holding her hand there, like. Sorry, <laughs> this fading out <laughs> um, of her voice. Also, at, like at some point, she's using a bit, a bit of um, like vibrating in her voice. I think at the beginning we get we have this weight. Wait for it. Here, this. <laughs> I can copy it. I don't have to worry, though. But you know what I mean. Like, my body reacts to it. My body's like waving, <laughs> vibrating with it. <laughs> The song seriously is is a fairy tale ish experience <laughs> for me personally. I guess it's some kind of love story between the king and the servant or something like this. <laughs> I can't focus on anything else than Una and her voice right now. Thank you. 
But when exactly do they play this song in the drama? It's difficult to find something that matches like exactly that mood. I'm constantly trying to like play a movie in my head with that as the BGM. It's not it's not easy. That's my favorite part. This Kenchan. That's exactly what I mean here. The way she's staring away. With this like dreamy look on her face. Okay, let's watch it once more, come on. One last time. These close-up shots are deadly. I love to focus in her eyes. Especially use this instrumental. Reminds me a bit of like ballet or something like this. The instrumental at that part. Not necessarily the, um, the way uh, this, the entire song is. But this. Exact same opinion as she is. <laughs> Whatever she said. Oh, this, this sounded right now like she was singing this with a smile on her face. <laughs> I like how we can see like the staff in the um, in the glass there. We also need a spotlight for Unna here, by the way. <laughs> that would have been a nice cut from this to Unna standing <laughs> gracefully in the spotlight. Oh, this part always gets me. Damn it. And how cute she was standing there, like, with her arms down. Like a sim. <laughs> Waiting for instructions, like. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. Wow. That was an emotional blast. Holy shit. Guys, that was it. That was my little reaction to Do You Know That by Unha. 
really, really beautiful. Like seriously, a beautiful song. But you definitely you have to be in the um um. That's, it's good that I waited. <laughs> you have to be in the right mindset. Like you have you have to have a calm mind, um, to really appreciate the song. But war. From beginning to the end, really transported its emotions super well. And despite not um like giving into uh, some high notes or changes of um, the um, speed of the music. Kind of like through the way Unha was singing it, you still had those little moments where you were like, mm, mm. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. I, I definitely felt it um, um, the whole time through. Maybe I'm just a lost fanboy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Please let me know um, your opinion about the entire video. Did you enjoy it? Then please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you definitely don't want to miss any video here. And uh, yeah, please, guys, um, also check out the next video. Whatever that's going to be. I have absolutely no clue what, but it's going to be amazing that much I can promise you for like 80%, okay? So thank you so much for your attention and bye!